good morning to Prof Mas and to all my fellow friends. First, um, I will introduce myself. My name is Alia Natasha and this is my man, Sherlyn Purai Malang. So today we will present about major theories of river deviants. So first to... So, uh, saya mau cepat-cepat lain ya, mau balik sudah. <laughs> so, untuk point first, so enemy theory. So, enemy theory is uh, Emile Durkheim was a French sociologist who first proposed the theory of enemy in 1893 with the publication of his book, The, the Division of Labor in Society. According to Durkheim, en enemy is a state in which expectations are unclear and the social system that key people functioning has broken down. So he believed that enemy or numblessness could result in feeling of deep despair and worthlessness for individuals. So for example, is people engaged in organized death because they do not have other ways for a calamity wealth. So for the point 1.1, adopting the strain. What are some examples of Merton strain theories? A person who is facing a financial crunch but is living in a fun society might act out in a deviant manner in order to maintain his desired social status. The idea of achieving culturally acceptable goals via socially approved means just because he feel, he feel that the strength experienced by him are unjust and unfair. So that means uh, like example, an individual is unable to afford the latest technology so they may turn to shoplifting in order to possess the same material possession as their peers. So for 1.2 extension of the enemy perspective, Robert K. Merton was an American sociologist studying enemy and its impact on people. He developed an idea called structural strain theory that occurred as the crime did, that crime often occurs when people lack of legitimate means to support themselves, creating strength between people's goals. Merton argued that defense meaning for the most part criminal activity was a natural response to strain and anomaly. So next. So this is the 1.3 evaluating enemy theory. It can be inferred from this enemy can be understood that just through social economic measurement Example rats of society, gender, and religion, but also qualified through the feeling, belief, and attitude about one's place in society. So next, so this is the point two, which is conflict uh, conflict theory. Conflict theory, first developed by Karl Marx, is a theory that society is in a state of perpetual conflict because of competition for limited resources. Uh, the second one is conflict theory hope that social order is maintained by domination and power rather than consens consensus and conformity. According to conflict theory, those with wealth and power try to hold to it by any means possible, chiefly by suppressing the poor and powerless. A basic premise of conflict theory is that individual and group with society will work to try to max maximize their own wealth and power. So like example yang macam gambar sebelah tu, like macam kalau yang orang kaya, dia mampu beli Dior, Chanel, apa semua, dia tidak berbutlah sebab kedai itu orang yang mampu dia masuk. Tapi let's say macam TikTok, apa, TikTok shop, macam Shopee, <coughs> ha, itu semua berebutkan sebab itu saja kita mampu. Ha, begitulah kondisi, kondisi dia. So untuk 2.1, so Deviant and Max, Maxim. Maxim is a conflict structuralist theory in so sociology pioneered by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, 1848. Structural theories in sociology take a top-down approach by examining the working of society in terms of the 
institutional relationship with, with which share human behavior. Maxim believed that class conflict is a core nature of the capitalism system. Social control is an agreement by the organism ruling class upon the particular working class based on the premise of economic determinism. So for 2.2, other conflict theories. So the other conflict theories, politi political style philosophies associated with having conflict theories include Jean Body, Adam Smith, John Scott Malk, Thomas Robert Mathieu, Kaufman, Karl Marx, and George Simmel. So two countries point a social trip inspired by the conflict perspective and emphasize on the use of state apparatus including the law and criminal justice institutions institution to control sub coordinate groups who threaten the interests of dominant groups social threats predicts that as racial and economically disadvantaged groups challenge the dominant so next i'll pass to my next alia so next is leveling leveling theory is Howard Baker's 1963 idea is that deviance is a consequence of external judgment or level that modify the individual self-concept and change the way others others respond to the level person. Uh, what did what did Baker mean is what makes something deviant is not what is done, but how people react to what is but how people people react to what is done. The only thing that deviant act have in common is that they are labeled different by others. Next. So 2.1 is labeled that create types of deviance. The first one is characteristic of the society reactions experienced by label, and the second one is consequences of this label label for further devia deviation by those individuals. And ada kantu nota yang tu nak diujung sekali. An official label that takes a person that in quote criminal, homosexual, drug addicts, and prostitute may have serious consequences for further deviation. Okay, next. Next is two point two, evaluating labeling theory. The, pop the popularity of the labeling perspective and the in intuitive appeal of many of its ideas have not protected it from a number of criticism. Many, many critics cite problem with Im imprecise statements in labeling theory um, and the ambiguity still <coughs> obscures key points in the theory and 3.3 where is where is the behavior deviance level doesn't create the initial behavior in stigmatic by ignoring by ignoring this fact leveling theory denies the reality of of the first deviant act and the basis for society reaction to it. Ultimately, the direction result from a violation of some normative standards or inspection. People often commit act, acts of violent the law or social norms for reasons have not, that have nothing to do with labor that others apply to them. Who, uh, who or what label? Two group could conceive, conceivably label a deviant, a deviant is the first one is official ag agents of social control, and the second one is society at large, and the third one and the immediate group the, to which he or she belongs, along with the significant others who supply cues about the role of performance. <laughs> 3.5 is where and 3.5 is who is the who is the deviant. The 
deviant is a person who behave in a way that most people consider to be not normal or morally correct. And the second one is deviant behavior or thinking is different from what people normally consider to be acceptable. Next. Uh, 3.7 is what are the effects of labeling? The first one is self-fulfilling prophecy. This is the labeling theory suggests that when individuals are labeled as deviant or criminal, they may internalize this label and begin to begin to adopt the corresponding behavior. Uh, for example, if someone is persistently labeled as a troublemaker, they may start behaving in a way that aligns with this label with this label due to, due to the expectation on them. This can lead to a cycle of reinforcement where the label individuals conform to the perceived expectation. And the second one is stigmatization. Once an uh, individual is labeled, labeled with a negative category, they may, they may be stigmatized by society. The stigma can result in social exclusion, discrimination, and limit, op limit op opportunities. For instance, someone labeled as a as criminal may find it challenging to secure stable employment or reintegrate into society after serving their sentence. And the third, the, and third is labeling effect on identity. Labels that labels can have a profound impact on a, on an individual's sense of self and identity. Positive labels such as successfully intelligent or athletic can enhance self-esteem and chef self chef behavior accordingly converse conversely negative labels can undermine a, a individual self image and influence their choices and action and the last is secondary deviance. Secondary deviance is according to the labeling theory when individual, individuals are labeled as deviant or delinquent, it can actually reinforce and ex escalate their, their deviant behaviors. This is known as secondary uh, deviance. The individual may, may form subcultures or social circles with other level in individual leading to further involvement criminal activities. Next. Next is control theory. Control theory. Con control theory is was found by Hersey. The basis of this theory is socialization. The assumption is that children do not learn from natural instinct but they but instead, they need to be socialized, socialized with the behavior that is accepted by society. Parents play a major role in this. This theory differs from other theories in terms of its starting purpose. Uh, usually, theories about uh, usually theories about crime and delinquency begin with the question. Why do people commit crime and delinquency? But this theory starts with the question: Why isn't everyone everyone doing it? In other words, what binds the individual to his community so that he avoid to act? Next. Four point two is assumption and structure of control theory. There are four. Satu attachment, kedua commitment, ketiga involve, involvement yang keempat beri. Okay, yang pertama refer refer to the extent to which a person feels bound to specific work through affection, respect, and so socialization to a group norm. And commitment pula dan dia describe the difference to the importance of a person's stake in conforming behavior so that acts of deviant jeopardize other more value, value, condition, and activi activities. So, 
Um, in, and the third one is involve, involvement. Refer to the non-defiant non physical activities at the simple level. An adult son can spend little time in delinquent acts if he or she spends much time playing basketball, for example, continue involvement in conventional activities, strengthen commitment. And the last one is belief is referred to the personal allegiance to the dominant value system in a group. These values, these values may assume the importance of moral imperative for the individual rendering violation unthinkable and next. <coughs> okay, 4.3 is crime and law self-control. Point one is people with strong self-control should demonstrate low rates of criminality. Um, two, Godfredson and Hersey, Hersey describe criminal by saying that people who lack self-control self will tend to be impulsive, insensitive, physical, as opposed to mental, risk-taking, short sight, and non-verbal, and, and they will tend therefore to engage in criminal and analogous act. Next is loss, loss of Loss self-control not only contribute to criminal behavior but also shows on association with relative activities such as accident, smoking, al and alcohol use. And next is Greg Godfredson and Hensi seek the origin of loss self-control in the functioning of the family and early childhood development. Indeed, the major cause cause of loss of com control appears to be ineffective child rearing. Next. <laughs> parents, par parents do not raise their ch children to become criminals, but they may not give proper care. E but they may not give proper care. Perhaps only for Failing to provide nurturing family atmosphere or to supervise ch children's behavior. Next. Next. Okay, so point five is. Yes, you can take it, Hang on. Last point. So, five evaluating learning theory. So, evaluating learning theory is Bandura social learning theory. Albert Bandura proposed that socialization is based on observational learning, meaning people learn from observ observing and in imitating others' behavior, attitudes, and emotions. His theory is also known as the social cognitive theories. So from here we can learn through conditioning, understand how research informs practical application of this theory, Lots of evidence from research that supports theory. So 5.1, evaluating learning theory, Bandura argued that observational learning involves four factors. So the four factors is attention, retention, reproduction, and motivation. So attention, this is paying attention to the model behavior. This is for retention, this is remembering what was observed. So reproduction, this is reproducing what was learned. Motivation, this is being rewarded or punished punish for one's behavior. So next. So 5.2 Sutherland theory of differential association. Dr. Sutherland designed the differential association to help with defining deviant behavior. The theory implies that once one learns criminal behavior through interactional with those <coughs> close to them and believe that most of the learned behavior is due to family and social interaction. So criminal behavior is learned interaction with person in pattern of community person. So example, an example of the 
differential association theory is the mafia. The people be, uh, people become mafia member by growing up within its uh, culture itself. So for 5.3, differential association reinforcement theory. So differential reinforcement is a behavior modification technique used in applied behavior analysis, ABA, which involves selectively reinforcing desired behavior while withholding reinforcement for un undesired behaviors. So last one is 1.4, evaluating learning theory. What are the best way to evaluate learning models and theory in training and development? One, criteria for evaluation. Two, sources of information. Three, methods of analysis. Four, here's what else to consider. So last, next. So for the summary, in short, this theory tends to focus on how people deviate as a result of others forcing their identity upon them. It allows us to develop a better understanding of how a person's previous behavior can reinterpret it in relation to the symbolic labeling they encountered over the course of their lives. So that's all from us. Thank you. So we have four questions here. So kita proceed dengan question sejaan. So our first question is, what are the four factors involved in Bandura's learning theories? Anyone? There are four factors just now. Control theory. Um, ada, ada, ada empat. 